Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra, the game with small pens and folders of stuff. So this is literally the game of my day job and we're currently in some weird underground tunnel thing with a bit of a collapse and we've got to take photos of things that are wrong. So I'd say that's pretty wrong. So we'll take a photo. Did I do that? <laughs> Did you hear our plug then? It was like, did I do that? Uh, yeah, we're not having the best day of work if you haven't been following the other episodes. All right. So unfortunately our flashlight doesn't seem to work on the water. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll just wade in. I don't know if I've got to go down there or... Okay, turns out I died. Um, I did find out in a previous episode. I'm not very buoyant. And this time we'll stay up here, so... Ooh, we got a door. Oh god, things are shaking badly. I don't like this. Meters cubed per H. Per hour? That's not a lot of water, I don't think. And when I do drainage, I usually work in like meters cubed per second. So not really sure what that machine's doing. Uh, oh, batteries. Batteries are pretty tasty on here. What does this say? Fluorite super plus 70. Some good ass fluorescent bulbs. <laughs> now that is a slogan we can all get behind. All right, so yes, my, my job is to be taking photos of any any issues that need fixing. So although it's a bit it's a bit dark, it's a bit dingy, I don't think anything's too broken. I can't really take a photo of the of the whole structure shaking. That light, maybe? It's not on? No. Oh, there is actually a broken banister there. If I reload my camera. What? Apparently that's not... So if things are wrong, can you see on my camera the, the little square thing? That will, that will shrink. That will go to a smaller square. But apparently handrail buried beneath all that ground is absolutely fine. So, okay. So we've got two options here. We can go up the ladder and through that door with the green light. Or we could actually walk along this white pipe. Now, obviously in real life, I would go nowhere near this. But uh, as it's a video game, I'm going to be a little bit sneaky. So we'll get the old flashlight out. It's actually really freaking creepy down here. I don't know if I like this. Uh, oh, look at this. We found some stuff. We've got some batteries. Oh, what is that? I just had a beer. Am I drunk? What the hell? Do you hear music? What is going on? I'm going to read this. I don't know why there's a note here. Oh shit, what's going on? Hey, what the hell? What was all that about? Was I tripping balls? <laughs> I feel like whatever was happening, I sort of missed it because I was reading that note. Really hard to read when it does that game. All right, okay, I just read that and that was adorable. So I think, I think Eric was the person who wrote that. He wrote it to Robin. Basically, there were two guys working down here on their own, trying to keep the tunnel running. Uh, it's the usual story. Overworked, underpaid. The story even went on about they, they were doing mushrooms down here. So yeah, I don't think they were the best employees necessarily. But it sounds like they actually cared about the tunnel and the, the owners that we know are very corrupt from the previous episodes. Uh, they didn't. And basically, the, the letter was just saying, sorry, I'm retiring. So Robin's going to have to work on his own, which is very sad. Uh, is that a broken ladder? It might be a broken ladder. Yes, I think it is. All right, this is a nice little spot. Oh, God. Stop shaking. I'm trying to read. Raft is ready for another delivery for the distributors at the open sewer. Leaving for the long and dangerous journey when the raft can be fully loaded. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a raft that they put supplies on and there wasn't enough or something. Not entirely sure. Uh, what is going on with that bush, though? There's like some weird graphical stuff going on. It almost looks like it spells a word. Does anyone else see that? Does that say cock? <laughs> I'm not joking. I, I honestly feel like it says cock. I'll do some editing and post and it, it might, I don't know. We'll see what it says exactly. Cool. All right. Well, anyway. All right. So this is a broken walkway. So we'll take a photo of that. Oh, that's where we read the lovely pen pal note. I don't know why they always write in letters around here. <laughs> There's a lot of, a lot of writing going. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, that's the raft. That can't be the raft, surely. There's a torch on it. Wait, can I jump? Surely I could just parkour up there. Huh. Oh. Oh, I was meant to take photos of all the bloody notes, wasn't I? Oh, look, it's a toilet. Ew. Ew. It's just a hole. So essentially, imagine this bottle is a poo. You would just plop. Oh! Let's say you decide to have a Taco Bell for lunch. Ew. Ew. Right, what's in here? What the frig is going on with these walls? Is that weird? I don't know what this is. Do I take a photo? No, apparently it's normal. It looks weird. Have they made a sauna? Is that what this is? I think they made a sauna. Yeah, let's read this. Next time you make a delivery, don't trust that idiot ma- Oi! Oh, you dicks! <laughs> what bellends? I didn't do anything. He's already in great debt to us. Yes, that is the same guy that ruined my logging business. No wonder he now lives in open sewer. He deserved it. Do they know my name is Matt or is it just coincidence? Are they not talking about... I don't think they're talking about my character. I'm pretty sure I'm meant to be Mark. Oh, what's this? <gasps> we got a map. Yeah, it is a sauna. The sauna's on the map. 
Uh, moonshine. Oh, I think I drank moonshine when I was tripping. Boys. Oh, wait, I can't read. Stop shaking. All right, I am going to be really boring and just go back and take photos. Oh, and pick up these batteries. Because that's the other thing in this game. You've got to take photos of all the little bits of paper that you've read. All the letters and stuff. I think we'll be using it as evidence later on. Oh, I nearly went in the water. That's why we don't walk on pipes in real life. Right, photos done. Let's get on the raft. Oh, look, this is broken as well. Actually, what the hell am I doing? I'm meant to be, like, surveying this place. Why am I getting on a bloody wooden pallet with some barrels underneath? <laughs> Why is Does this need a photo? No. <laughs> Apparently this is normal. Oh, shit. We're on a raft. How do I steer? How do I steer? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I drowned. Wait, wait, what's this? A big old stash of booze. I missed that. That's in the back of the sauna. Okay, apparently the toilet is broken as well. Who's shitting in everybody's drinking water? Oh yeah, because this is drinking water. So you shouldn't be shitting in drinking water, as our character just said. <laughs> right, so before we get on there and not know how to steer, I'm going to hit save. Right, we're away. I'm going to stand. Oh, look. Okay, I can control it. I feel like this is the sort of area where there'd be secrets. You've got to get right to the edge. Oh, I should be taking photos of these. Oh no. Oh, bollocks. We're going to touch it. <gasps> Really? <laughs> Surely I could, like, engineer a safer raft or something. Right, one of that. Oh, look, it's the pillar that's fallen down. Dodgy. One of that. Oh, don't hit the wall. Frickin' hell, Matt. That staircase is crocked. There we go. Oh, no, there's a barrel. There's a barrel. Sploosh. Yeah, I think we're good. Is that broken? No, that's not broken. This looks dodgy. Have I got a duck? I'm gonna duck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. There's, like, stuff falling down. Oh, cock. That's just one photo. Okay, fair enough. we got to move over and take a photo of that. This is like Pokemon Snap. <laughs> I'm in an engineering Pokemon Snap. I'm scared like something horrible is behind me. Right, it looks like another thing to duck under. Oh, I shouldn't call it a thing. It's a truss, Matt. It's a truss. All right, we've really got to watch the old rocks here. So I'm just going to keep this side as close as I can without touching... Is that going to touch? That might touch. I'm going to move this way a bit. <laughs> Quick! Oh, that looks like a butt. All right, that's it. We're getting there. We are getting there. I'm quite worried about cocking it up, though. Yes, I think we did it. We're just going under one more truss. Oh, look, then we've got to go right. We've got to go right here. All right, this looks tight. This looks tight. Oh, God, that was tight. I want to get off. It's moving too quick. <laughs> All right, another collapsy bit. I'm going to have to go left. <laughs> Oh, right again, quick. Oh, God. I think that was tight. I think that was tight. I never thought my bloody day of work I'd be doing, like, river rapids. <laughs> this is bizarre. I can't believe, like, this is this raft thing as well. It's been so, like, under-engineered. It doesn't even have, like, paddles or steering. You literally just stand near an edge. And if it touches anything, utter destruction. Okay, we're still on a raft. We've just gone through a loading screen, but we're still on a raft. It's quite romantic, actually. I can imagine taking Doris down here. <gasps> There's green. I see green. I see rays of green. Red roses, too. Is that how it goes? Rays of green. It's something green, isn't it? Oh, God, I'm standing quite near the back. I better move forward a little bit. <laughs> look, mushrooms. Take photo. I want to know if I can, like, jump off the raft. Well, that's a bad idea. It does look like there's, like, caves back there. Oh, I'm too scared. I don't want to do all that again. It was really quite boring gameplay. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is tight. This is tight. Friggin' out. Can I go that way? I'm gonna go this way. Sod it. Oh, I freaking died. Really, game? <laughs> I would not have died there. Engineers are not that soft. I promise. I swear there's a bit of paper to read, though. I really want to see what it says. Ready? <laughs> right, what is it? Oh, I think it was just a box of beers. This is a pretty dangerous raft ride. Not the best ride I've been on. I remember, actually, when I was a kid, <laughs> I went to Legoland. Legoland Windsor, this is. Uh, it's a bit naff. It's not like the Denmark one or anything. Oh, bollocks. I forgot to take a photo of that. There you go. Shit. We're drifting. Oh my god. Every mushroom is a photo. That's too many photos, game. <laughs> I missed a crap ton as well. Oh, but yeah. So I went to Legoland. And I did the usual. Got my driver's license. All that sort of stuff. Uh, mined some gold. Fantastic times. And then my parents took me on... Oh, bollocks. We're not going to make this corner. We're not going to make this corner. Ah! Shit in a sock. Anyway, back to my Legoland story. Oh, I'm not going to make this. Oh, you shitting. And then my parents took me on the log flume. And now, being quite a young kid, I don't, know, I don't know how old I was. Probably like 
eight or something. Let's go along the log flume and I was like, I was a little bit scared. I'd like seen the drop at the end. It was looked pretty steep. Obviously, young engineer in the making. I sort of knew probably not the safest ride. There could be things going wrong, especially with water. So you, you got on the log. You start, sort of did some like weaving in and out of trees and stuff. Everything was going fine. And then you get to like the hill climb bit, the like chain ride up. Surely that's a photo. Oh, look. Oh, look, it died. But it's okay. It's okay. We survived. We can stand in like ankle deep water. Just don't go in the knee deep stuff. That's deadly. But yeah, so as we started going up this up this hill lift, uh, the decorations were like gravestones and stuff. Obviously made out of Lego, but uh, <laughs> I, being like the little the little kid that I was, uh, and it's quite sweet actually when you look back. But uh, I thought they were the graves of people that didn't survive the ride. <laughs> And I got really scared. I started crying because I was like, we're going to die. I'm going to be like, my only legacy on this planet will be a gravestone made out of Lego. Uh, and I'll, I'll never be an engineer. I had such great dreams and hopes of being an engineer. Uh, can I jump that, do you reckon? Let's, let's jump it. Oh, bollocks. Oh, dear. We've done a lot of dying today. A lot of dying. I sort of want to head through that, to be fair. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can walk along this, though. Can I? Yes, I can. Would I do that knowing how buoyant I am in real life? Probably not. But yeah, moral of the story was, uh, I don't know, was there a moral to that story? <laughs> don't know, right? Flood door B1. It shuts, but it does have a hole for a hand wheel. Oh, look, down there, down there. B4. It's half open, boys. All right, it won't move. But remember, we were Limbo Champions 1997, so... <laughs> And we're through, we limboed our way under. All right, let's check out what the hell is going on in here. Some batteries, uh, a very blatant Fanta ripoff. Oh look, notice, this can only be used when the generators are turned on, okay. So we need to go turn the generators on, I guess. We've got a new version of this piece of shit. <laughs> it's way better. Okay, cool. What is it? Ah, oh, it's the flood doors alarm control panel. Interesting. Now oh, look, some more nudie videos up here. That's what old people call porn. Oh, I reckon there's a handy box here. We can climb up this, which was definitely in the risk assessment. And now we're up here. Ooh. Oh, some rebar poking out. Rebar is reinforced steel bar. Usually it's reinforced concrete. And if it looks like that rather than that, then you know it's not doing its job. We'll go back down this side. Anything good? Oh, that's where I came from. Okay, getting our bearings. We've got some paperwork. The maintenance log. So apparently Eric has written plenty of instructions for Robin, but he just ignored everything as always. Yes, that's one of the love letters that we found earlier. So correct statement, that is true. All right, it turns out Robin's being pretty reckless. Uh, and they reckon that's how that's how Eric got hurt. But he lied about it or something. All right, let's get out of here anyway. All right, so we can go out the exit door, but let's just have a little look around this corner. There's a toilet, which no doubt means there's a poo. No, oh, there wasn't a poo. That's a first. Pretty dark in here. Let's, uh... Oh god, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Look at this. This is really high. What? That's where the water comes out and it goes through another tunnel. Interesting. Oh, there's a door up here. Okay, this is where we've already been. Alright, alright. So another broken walkway. Take a photo. I won't try and jump it this time. A little bit too high to be trying that. And the little limbo, we're outside. That's broken. Okay, apparently that's not broken. That's completely normal. Fair enough. The size of that mushroom. Oh, we've got a gate key. More limboing. How is all of this fine? I don't understand game. Oh, look, a geocache. Well, that's a hell of a tree. So this place must have been abandoned for freaking ages. Well, yeah, I guess that was kind of obvious before. <laughs> before we got to the tree, Matt. All uh, right, then. Let's try this fire exit. Up or down? I'm going to say we'll go down first. Go have a little look. Get the old flashlight out. Right, that don't look good. That's the ceiling. That's fallen down. Uh, an audio tape. Right, wow, well, okay. So basically, the guy that used to own the dam, uh, they sort of, they were running out of money when they were building the dam. Then their major client went bankrupt, meaning their cash flow was zero. Uh, Scaling into loads of trouble, we decided to sell the company. Couldn't find anyone decent to buy the company. Um, so in the end, sort of settled with... <gasps> ow. So in the end, sort of settled with a bloke who he knew was a bit dodgy because all of his previous business acquisitions went bankrupt, but uh, he thought it was better than nothing. Sep T Max. <laughs> Love it. Uh, but yeah, and he said ultimately the, the guy that bought the plant, I think his name was Walter, he was responsible for loads of people's deaths because how he ran the company, uh, but also the original owners, the one that was talking on that tape, uh, his wife and child. And at the end of that tape, he just swore to get vengeance with him. So yeah, pretty, pretty major storyline. 
No, anyway, right, what's going on here? Okay, I turned the generator on, that light went on. So I think that's a good thing. <laughs> I love, I'm just like a random dude on a site visit. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll turn on all these. What's the worst that can happen? Whoa. Uh, well, that's not far off it. <laughs> Is that another photo? No, it was like that when I got here. It was like that when I got here. Let's turn these off. Oh, bollocks. I think I cocked it. I think I cocked it. I probably should have. I don't know what I should have done. Override, override. Oh, look, there's an alarm over here. Enter the code to turn off the alarms. Well, it looks like... Let's try that. Oh, that was right. Okay, cool. The alarm's off. So, as I were... Shit, I know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I'm literally just pressing buttons on super dangerous and expensive machinery. Oh, so all the generators are on apart from G2. So, G2 needs to be overridden. Maybe I did it too late. Were those lights on before? Is there power to this now? No. Yeah, I think I might have cocked this. Anything under here? Oh, what are these? What is going on here? There's like a mushroom beer hybrid thing going on. A beer shroom. Right, I fixed everything downstairs. Fixed, yep, fixed. Let's head all the way to the top. Oh, we can't go to the top because it's collapsed, is it? Well, that's a photo. I'm going to guess I can't walk across here. Maybe I can wade down here. I feel like I need to get over that side through door A2. But I don't know how. Bollocks. Right. Can't go in that water, I died. So photos of this again, photos of that again. But thankfully, now I think it means I can fix this, maybe? So if I put an override on G2. Oh no, I was hoping that would turn that on, but it didn't. So what if we do one? So one is on. Now we do three. Run away from the falling rocks. Okay, three is on. Four. Oh, it's a button. And now they're all on. <gasps> so I might have done it. I might have actually done it. So now I flip this. Yes! Ooh! Yes! Yay! Uh, does this work now? <gasps> the lift works now. Look at the weight going up. That means the lift bit's coming down. Oh, I broke. That needs a photo now then. <laughs> there is a ladder there. Can I get in there? Oh no, actually last time I went under a lift, I, I died. It wasn't a good day in the office. Well, I really don't understand the point of that then. I just made the lift break. How do I get across? <laughs> Game! Uh, right, so have I turned on anything up here? Oh, look. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I turned the generators on so I can use this now. Uh, we have two warnings, though. Uh, flood doors, red button, and alarm off, green button. So do I press them? These are terrible instructions. <laughs> Try to see what settings says. Settings and warnings are the same. Uh, turn lights red, turn lights green. Let's turn them green. Right, not underwater yet, so we'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> reset doors. Okay, let's reset the doors. So maybe some of those doors that were locked are open now? I don't know if that was... Oh, look, this is open. This is open. Oh, is that one over there open? The overgrown one? Surely not. Surely this isn't going to open. It's opening. <laughs> the leaves aren't moving, though. There's loads of mushrooms. Ow, ow. That's hurting. Let's not go too close. What does this say? Eric is telling his pen pal Robin that the green mushrooms... Oh, like hallucinogenic, and he's grabbing as many as he can. <laughs> oh, I better take a photo of that as well. He's taking as many as he can, because um, that's the type of person he is. Okay. And now I'm guessing that door that was shut should be open. This one, yes. Nice. Now we're on this side. We should just be able to go along this little walkway. Uh, railing missing. No, you don't care about railings. Dodgy railings. Lean on that and you're gone, but okay. You you know best, game. You know best. All right, and then I guess we're heading down this tunnel. Is this locked? Oh no, it's open. Oh, that's the key I got earlier, I think. Do I go down here or do I go through here? Let's open this first and see if it stays open. Sometimes these don't. Sometimes they come straight down. This one's staying open. Okay, we'll go have a look. Wow, that's cool lighting. I like that. Some batteries. There's some horrible creaking noises going on. And it's definitely not me. <laughs> it's my ass creaking away. Do you hear that? That sounds like a haunted rocking chair. Right, let's sneak under here. Oh, look, collapse ceiling. And another big collapse down here. Oh, God, are we going through here? Let's turn the flashlight on. Yeah, of course, we'll squeeze our way through the recent collapse. Completely safe. Another collapse at the end. Right, but there is a room here. Okay, I see fuse boxes. Looks like we're missing two. Ah, here's one. Plug that in. Oh, that was two. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I... <laughs> Did we just witness the power of engineering? That was truly magical. Oh, look, here we go. The switch. I'm pretty sure that goes to the few. Yeah, okay, and this opens this. Nice. Oh, I'm wondering, should I have gone through that gate now? We're going quite a long way. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Screw this. I gotta go back. I've always gotta go back. I feel like that's the right way. I feel like the locked gate was the secret way. I wish we walked faster when we crouched. All right, we're back out here. Let's go. Let's go see what's down here. Oh, feck. It would be a jump, wouldn't it? I'm really, really bad at making jumps in this game. I'm gonna hit save because I'm not an idiot. All right, ready? Yes, we made it. We made it. Flashlight on, please. Oh god, we've got another one. Oh, we made it again. I'm gonna crouch under that. Oh god, another one. Huh. Huh. Yes, we're doing it. All right. Oh, bollocks. All right, speed run. Sod it. I'm not scared. Are they technically broken? No. Oi, oi, what's all this then? What's all this? Bass. Right, we got to collapse. That's a photo. Do we need to climb up this stepladder? Can we climb up stepladders? Oh, yes, we can. Can we open this? No, we can't. Oh, the door's already open. You're a penis sometimes, Matt. You really are. Right, what is this? This looks explosive. And there's another chainsaw with no chain. I don't like this. Uh, so this is pretty sketch. Looks like they're tunneling. And I guess that's a collapse. Yep. All right, we'll just ignore that. Oh, look. Someone left the lights on in there. What is this? Arm um, fire. Oh, God, really? I, li I have explosive. Okay, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. Let's uh, gently put that back down. <laughs> oh, dear. Pick up these batteries. All right, let's read this. Hey, I need you to bring me some dynamite from the tunnel excavation site. Don't ask why. Don't ask why. Uh, after you bring me the dynamite, Hartman wants to get back on spying on Max Keller. He might know where Jeff Walter is. So Jeff's the one who bought the company and subsequently killed, accidentally, killed his son and wife. Don't worry, we will be able to pay you. All right. Seems like some dodgy ass crap is going on. Time to play with some dynamite. But I think, guys, I'm going to leave that on a very explosive cliffhanger. You have to find out next time. But yeah, before I blow myself up, I will say peace, love and bridges. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.